hi guys welcome to teaching machine now i am going to show you how to use python and sqlite 3 to store images and files on a database so here we are using sqlite 3 i am just loading the libraries here and then i am just creating a database file it will simply create a database file in this folder now you can see a new file created just now i am going to uh, provide a schema that contains date and binary file and name these are the three columns uh, which will be there on files table in the above database so i'm just creating this table now once i execute the table is created you can see no error here so now uh, these are the helper functions to create a file into binary data and then from binary data to a file then this is a read function i'll let you know about this later but uh, let's come to insert query so here i'm just creating a time now variable from the present time so sorry so let me show you how it looks like it's uh, it will be the date and time combination then i'm connecting to the database which we created above so you need to run this uh, snippet only once while creating the database if you want to uh, reset the table you can use drop table this line and then create the table again so it will clear entire data in table coming to insert records i am connecting to database here in this line after connecting to database i am creating a cursor in order to write and execute queries i am just converting the file by taking the file name in the function call it might be pdf file it might be png it might be jpg mp3 whatever i am taking the file and and then i am converting the file into a binary encoded data then i am just splitting the name with the extension of file and then file name for example file name is sample document.pdf i am extracting .pdf as extension and sample document as a name which is nothing but file name id i am mentioning it as a file name id here and then data tuple is something which will go into this sqlite query these three question marks okay so here i am just inserting the data into files table these are the three columns date binary file this is nothing but binary encoded string and then this is a name name of the file then i am just uh, executing this line in order to push the data into table and then closing the connection so you should remember that whenever you are opening any sql table you should close it after committing okay. so i am just committing it so now uh, let me execute this entire function i am just defining the function now so if i want to run this function what i do need to do is i need to come down here i can use this function anywhere and here i am not returning anything uh, i am returning something success insert records fail if it is fail i am showing fail insert records so i am assigning it to a variable called response file name is not mentioned here so i am going to mention file name the above line file name would be sample document.pdf so i am just trying to push the sample sample document.pdf into the database i want to store it as a block so now it is saying something is not different so let me define all the functions first now it will run successfully you can see the response here sample record sample document pdf file inserted into blob table so now the file is uh, inserted into table what we can do is we can uh, pull the data table data using this function i'm just defining a function 
what we need to do here is we need to uh, assign a table response and then we need to provide a query select star from files table okay it will basically give you uh, the response here we got a data frame for some reason binary file is not pushed into table the reason could be anything let me go through this one mm, yes we are in the exact folder only the file is also here let me copy the file and run this code again so now the file is created let me delete this file I am deleting this file here and then I can even pull the data by using this single function here I need to give the same file name in this case there is no sample.pdf file you can see sample.pdf is now deleted in this folder I am just trying to run this single line it pulled the pdf so for some reason the pdf uh, binary data is not displayed here but the, the binary code is there that is why we are able to get the file back again this is a file which i uploaded to sql table not only pdf we can even store a png image here comes the png image i am trying to reassign the file name as png and then i am running only insert query here now the file is inserted what i will do is i will just remove this file and i am also removing this file from the folder here now i want to get this file back into my local system okay i know the file name so i am just feeding the file name to read blob data this is a function which we defined above this line 27th line so we define here it will take the file name and it will ex get the extension of the file name and name name of the file then i am using i am connecting the database i am creating a cursor i am writing a query simple sql query select star from table where name is equal to question mark the question mark data is name of the file then i am getting the result as uh, records it is a data type it will be looking like a tuple list of tuples so from there i'm just pulling the uh, items and i'm storing the files to local files storing the files into local disk so here uh, we don't have png image which i uploaded what i'm doing is i'm going to run this simple query to get my file back into local system so i am running this line by using f9 you can see in the right hand section in this section you can see a file will appear now i am running it now you can see a file it is a file okay this is this is how we are going to store the uh, files in sql 3 database so you can store any type of files blob is a data type like uh, text date time integer blob is also a data type which will be used to store any kind of files and data in the mysql table or sql at 3 table the same follows in the mysql as well so here uh, you need to uh, know one thing about the storage and size of the database so if you are pushing this sql this youtube.png for 10 times so if it is con containing 100 kb data 100 kb into 10 1000 kb data will be stored in da database so the database size will be uh, increased to 1000 kb so how many files you are going to push into database the database size will be obviously increased as much as the file size so that's all about sqlite 3 and blob storage if you want to explore more you can use this code i am going to put it in the description
थैंक यू ऑल